what's up guys? I'm at Fred Myers frozen food section looking at entrees. Now I believe you plenty of healthy choices. We know that's good. Check these out. These are the new power boats on sale. They're ridiculously good and I have to be here. We got a Korean inspired beef bowl right here. Cuban inspired pork bowl. What's up guys, welcome to J. Ru Productions in another special food review. For today's breakfast, it's Monday, gotta start off the week proper. So I'm trying the Cuban inspired pork bowl. Look at all those incredible ingredients. Let's go ahead and turn off to the back and look at the nutritional info. Only 340 calories, but it contains all these exciting ingredients such as grains, greens, you got the protein, fruits and vegetables, all in there in the mix. I can't wait to get it started. So let's go ahead and open up. Check it out, guys. It's a recyclable bowl. You don't see that too often coming from the frozen food game. So that's one plus of healthy choice. Pop in the microwave for like, um, I believe about four minutes and 30 seconds. That's what they recommend. So let's go ahead and watch it cook. It's starting to smell nice. I hear things popping and it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and take it out of the microwave. I'm super excited to try it. Oh my goodness, it smells so heavenly. Let's go ahead and peel it off. Ooh, wee. Look at all the sexy ingredients, guys. I love how colorful it is. There you see the tender braised pork loin, the black beans, the vegetables served on top of brown and red rice, red quinoa and black barley with sofrito sauce. All natural meat. So good, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a try, shall we? That's a good, nice fork full right there, but usually I like to add some peanuts for extra crunch. That's purely optional. I'd like to get more protein in my system, considering you know it's been a long night's nice rest. So let's go ahead and consume it. S all the flavors melt in my mouth. So good, guys. Amazing Cuban flavor. Now it's Tuesday, guys. I'm going to try the next up in the lineup. Lineup is the Dobo Chicken Bowl. There you see it is made of um, all those enticing ingredients. You even have a spice level. Let's go ahead and take a look at nutritional info. 330 calories. So about 10 less than the Cuban inspired pork bowl. Popped in the microwave for recommended three, four and a half minutes. It's ready to go. Let's go and peel off. It smells just as good as the Cuban expired pork bowl. Let's go ahead and give it a try. It looks exactly like the picture, unlike other competition, you know. It looks nothing like it. It's colorful. It's amazing. You got the all natural chicken breast with vegetables served on top of brown and red rice. Great queen one and Black barley with a guay hilo, chili sauce topped with roasted papitas. Oh my goodness. I'm adding some peanuts for extra crunch. It's time to give it a try. See that sauce, everything all blends in well in together. Um, the chicken is just a little bit dry, but the other ingredients kind of melts it all together for a very flavorful chicken bowl. Definitely the best type of chicken bowl I ever got from tasted from a frozen food section quality ingredients I'm super excited and happy about that choice so for the last two breakfasts I ate real well guys started out Monday with the Cuban inspired pork bowl and then Tuesday I had the adobo chicken bowl it's really hard to pick which one is better but I believe I saved the best for last guys this is the Korean inspired beef bowl. We take a look at that picture. Looks exactly like something served from a Korean restaurant. Tender braised all natural beef with shiitake mushrooms and vegetables served on top of brown or red rice. I didn't even know red rice existed. Red quinoa and black barley with a spicy gojo, goju chang, jang. Hold on a second. Didn't Jack in the Box just came out with that sauce on their uh, new sandwich food truck series? Anyway, and soy sauce topped with black and white sesame seeds. Notice the spice level compared to the other ones. 
that one's not even spicy. So there you have a one on the adobo chicken bow, and then you have two right here. Oh my goodness. Take a look at the nutritional info. In the description, all the grains, all that good stuff. I can't wait to get into this. Time for the Korean inspired beef bowl. Wow, wow, wow. I have to admit, that's the most aromatic of them all. Tender braised all natural beef with shiitake mushrooms, vegetables served on a brown and red rice, red queen one, black barley with a spicy guju chain and soy sauce topped with black and white sesame seeds. Spiciness level two out of three. Um, I want to add some peanuts, I typically do. Can't blame me for extra protein. Mix it all up together. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Oh my goodness. The spiciness level is more than I expected, but it makes it taste so good. See that steam coming up? It's amazing flavor. It kind of reminds me of going, getting a, almost a gourmet food from a Korean restaurant. Definitely represent the Korean. The beef, it's, it's, it's pretty nice for the, for the price. And it's very tasty. I highly recommend it, this one. And it's only 290 calories, guys. Amazing. And considering it looks exactly just like the picture, what else can you just can't improve on this? It's one of the most exciting frozen food that I've ever had. So I'm highly impressed with Healthy Choice. So now that I've tried all three bows, it's time to give it a score, guys. I actually put these in the order from the least to the most favorite. But the least favorite, it's no joke, guys. It is still very good. So forgive my choice of adjectives. Adobo chicken bowl, I am going to hook this up with a 80%. For the Cuban inspired pork bowl, it's a step above. I'm going to hook that up with 86%. But for the Korean inspired beef bowl, highly recommend it. 90% considering it's frozen food. And I just found out, um, and I just remember that there's also a chicken sausage and barley bowl that I've tried, but they didn't have it at the Fred Myers that I went to. That's also tasty, and I think that's gonna be between the adobo chicken bowl and the Cuban inspired pork bowl. Fit that in there. And here is just a comparison with their regular choices, such as the beef and broccoli, and also the chicken, pineapple chicken. Now these are usually typically cheaper, ranging from like 250 on sale to like uh, 2.99, and the other ones, if it's not on sale. The power bowls are like $3.99, so get on sale with two for seven dollars. Heavy choice, one of the best frozen food out there. Very quality ingredients, easy to prepare, no hassle cooking, amazing flavors, quality ingredients. What more can I say? Highly recommend it, especially for the power bowls. Hey guys, thanks for supporting my channel. Go ahead and click on the like, comment, and share subscribe button. Until next time, take care of yourselves and don't forget to always eat breakfast.